Hello, everyone. Jenny, I cannot see you anymore. Jenny was here. Can you? There you are. Okay, hold on. <laughs> I can hear you now. Okay. I don't know if everyone else can hear you. Okay, Jenny's okay. back. Let me fix the screen. This is so funny. Uh, so welcome, everyone. Happy Thursday. This is the industry chat with the IDS. Uh, the Jenny is the national director of the Interior Design Society. And I'm so happy to have you here. The minute I press live, you disappeared. I it disappeared on my side, too. And I was a little worried, but you're the tech expert. So I know. Oh, OK, <laughs> uh, let me just put your title here and your sound a little echoey, but I think it's OK. OK. Let me see. OK, so I am finding that most people are watching on replay. Everyone's so busy in the industry right now. So I know it's early, but I wanted to make sure we got you on to talk about why everyone should register for the IDS virtual game called Swatch. So why don't you explain what it is and then why they should join? Mm -hmm. So Swatch is a game that was built after the TV show Chopped. So it's kind of a, a beat the clock competition game. You're given um, a design prompt that you have to respond to, as well as specific materials that you have to use in the design. And for the virtual edition, you have to create a mood board, of course, it's digital and a digital representation it could be you know a 3d design or even something that you make in a simpler platform such as canva so you have to have those two digital elements and of course a design summary statement so you put all those pieces together like you would do for a real client and then they're judged by um, experts in the industry and it just gives you a really great opportunity to showcase your skills and win prizes for it. We give away cash prizes for this event. Also, just bragging rights in general. The winner gets a logo that they can put on their website that says IDS Swatched Winner. So it's a really good you know, Ooh. promo item that you can show to potential clients that you are a winner of a you know design competition, which I think is you know, really great. Um, so it's just a really good way to showcase your skills and also learn new skills. We've partnered with a company called Design Board 3D this year that allows designers to input 3D products into a mood board. So you're able to create, you know, a more professional looking piece for your clients to review and you know that's going to be free training for the participants of swatched Ooh, okay so how much does it cost to join the game so the game is 25 dollars for members and 50 dollars for people who are not members um, we hope that you know anyone anyone can play um, so you don't have to be a member of ids to play it's just you get a, a half price discount if you are an IDS member. So it's a perk. Absolutely. OK, so they decide, yes, I want to be part of the IDS Swatch game, but they're thinking to themselves, I don't have time for this. Like, what day does it start and how is it going to be run and what's the time commitment? Yeah, so it spans over six days. So it starts on August 10th, which is next week. It's hard to believe. Wow. I think that's next Tuesday, I yeah, believe. I have to look at my calendar, but yeah, I think yeah. so. So it starts next Tuesday and it spans over six days. And I know a lot of people have concerns about the time that it would take to create the actual um, pieces that are due. And you have several days to do that. You've got, you know, I think it's three days actually to turn those around for the judges. So you aren't, you know, in a total crunch to do that. We wanted to give people plenty of time to complete the assignment. So it does span over several days. I want to tell you the right day. So the prompt will be released next Wednesday. So you'll get the prompt and the competition time actually starts. And so then the give me, just give me an idea of what a prompt would be so people so, understand what is a prompt 
during this type of a fun competition game? So the prompt could be something like, Nancy lives in a New York City apartment with her husband and two kids. They love entertaining and have um, a desire for an in-home bar. And you would just run with that. It's something short and sweet, gives you some facts about the clients and that's it. And do they give like, are they, are they supposed to do the whole apartment? Are they doing just a room? And then you're giving them some, an item or not mm -hmm. to kind of be the inspiration and the focal point. So it is typically one room or area. So last year it was a living type space that incorporated um, a dining nook as well as a little space for a home office. Ah, okay. So we yeah. don't know what this year is going to be. Right. We don't. We will not know that until next Wednesday. It's top secret until then. I don't okay. even know what it is yet. So. Oh, my God. Okay. I don't know who decides that, but I think that's fun right there, right? Yes. Someone's deciding on what the story is of the person or family living in the space and what area they're going to be in charge of mm -hmm. creating a virtual design. And on the 10th, it kicks off. And do they get training on the 10th as well? So the training is taking place on the 10th, yes. So the DB3D training will be on Tuesday, August 10th, so next Tuesday. So that's a training that's automatically included in their either $25 entry fee or $50 if they're not a member of the Interior Design Society free. right now. So they get that training. It's free. DB3D software is also free for them to use going forward. So once they've learned it, this could be a cool addition to their own practice, mm -hmm. their own interior design practice. Yeah. I mean, I'm sure you would agree. It's always great to learn about new platforms and new programs that you can incorporate into your business. And this is one that, you know, I've seen uh, a few times and it seems to be really great. And everyone loves the 3D modeling and being able to see things that look more lifelike. So I think it's a great opportunity to learn something new. Right. So, OK, so they learn the software. The next day they get the prompt. This is the family or person you're designing mm -hmm. for. And now they have four or five days to create a virtual 3D design along with whatever the other requirements will be. Maybe a little story about why you selected what you selected. Mm -hmm. I don't know what the requirements are. You complete all that, you submit it, and then we have industry experts that judge the virtual designs and you said cash prizes? Yes, yes. Yeah. Yeah. So the first place winner this year is winning $500. What? Mm hmm. Yes. So five hundred dollars. But, you know, I think even more important is that logo that you can use. I mean, you can put that in an e-blast or put it on your social media. I mean, it's really a good marketing tool. It's amazing to say you've won or even been in the run, like in the top. What are you doing? Three spots, three spots. OK, so they can say they participated in it. And then if they want it, they'll have this logo to put on their website and their emails or social media that they won a design competition. Yes. I love that. Yeah. I love that. And it's, it's also a good intro for people who are interested in the Designer of the Year Awards program because it does incorporate one of the main components of those entries, which is the design summary statement. So, you know, that's a brief, I think it's 350 words or less, just summary about the design and how you did it and how you ended up with the end result. So, you know, that is one thing that we push a lot during those Designer of the Year Award submissions is that you have to have a good design summary statement. So, so this you, is a good opportunity to do those. It's a great opportunity. And it's really you know, I always say everything you do sort of gets you ready for that next stage in your mm -hmm. business or the next stage in life, right? And that is really what publishers publishers want as well, right? When you're getting some of your jobs published, getting used to writing a summary statement about mm -hmm. your jobs is kind of like tipping their toe into the whole publishing world as well. Yes. Yeah, Love absolutely. It. Love it. Okay. So I have been involved in Swatched. From its creation, it was not my idea, but I was involved in the Long Island chapter of the IDS when Swatched came up into um, 
the idea of the that time president, right? It was it was really mm-hmm. what Bonnie and Wendy, who created this whole event yes. on Long Island, did it live. And then, of course, when I was running the virtual chapter, it was like, ooh, why not do a virtual swatch, which I think uh, was Wendy's idea as well, like try to do it virtual. And it was so much fun. We had a blast last year. And the the stuff that came in was unbelievable. I mean, it was great work. So I'm excited to see what comes in this year, especially after so many people have been getting used to doing more, you know, virtual digital work. design. So it should be interesting. Oh my God. It should be amazing. Okay. What's the cutoff date for them to join virtual chop, uh, virtual chop. <laughs> Swatch. Swatch. So it's because it starts on August 10th. So next Tuesday, I believe registration will end the day before. So okay. mon- next Monday night by midnight. Okay. I won't ask how many people are participating yet because I know this is going to give us a bump up and I would love to see so many members of this, this group of mine um, participate because it's a fun thing to do. And right now everything's so heavy and stressful. Like it's time to have some fun, right? Yeah. And it's just a good opportunity to just put yourself out there. You know, it's 25 or $50, you know, just, take a risk and do it. And, you know, you'll learn something new. So just take a risk and try it out. Absolutely. Well, plus you could win $500 if you get first place. What's second place? So 300 for second place Wow. and a hundred dollars for uh, third place. It's amazing. It's amazing. And also a key component of Swatched is always charity. So that is something that IDS is feels very strongly about is using our design skills and resources to help our communities. So every year with every chop, uh, now I'm calling. <laughs> <laughs> now you've been doing it, sorry. That was my fault. With every swatch. With every swatch, you know, whether it's in Long Island or Portland or Dallas, wherever it might be, money is given to charity. So last year, we were able to give part of the proceeds to a nurses relief charity. Um, So we all know everything that nurses have been through in the past year and a half. So we were able to give some money for them. And this year, the funds are going towards the IDS scholarship. So we are growing that scholarship program and we're able to give, you know, an extra scholarship this year because of the Swatch program. So, you know, it's impacting the future of this industry. And the scholarship goes to interior design students, correct? Mm -hmm. That's who are eligible to get their design degrees in order to learn this industry and, Mm -hmm. and what they need to know to be an interior designer. Yes. So key. So key. All right. We'll have to talk about that in another live as well, I think. Yes. Let's jump. Anything else with Swatched that you want people to know? So you can register on our website, interiordesignsociety.org. And I think it's backslash Swatched. And I did put a link, I believe, in the description. If I didn't do it properly, I will go back. Yep, I did. Interiordesignsociety.org slash Swatched. Perfect. And I think you can actually see the winning submissions from last year on that website, too. Oh, OK. Oh, yeah. If yeah. I scroll down third place. Oh, that's fun. OK. Wow. Yeah. OK. They did a good job. I want everyone to go click that link and go take a look at last year's winners. And there's a little video of Swatch from Portland also, which is just fun. So if you want to get more of an idea of what this game is all about. But I have to tell you, it's just fun. And it's Mm -hmm. less of a competition and more of a game and just a learning experience. A lot of laughs, a lot of amazing talent that is displayed during these events. It's just, it's great. It's great. Okay, so everyone go to the interior design society.org slash swatch go check out virtual swatched and sign up and what about internationally like who can join this anyone anyone (laughs) yes we'd love to have anyone from anywhere you know the recordings for example if you know you're in a time zone where you can't do the record or the training live with db3d it's going to be recorded so you can watch it later um so yeah it's you know anyone can can participate 
Love it. Okay, good. Hopefully a lot of people do, because I want to hear back that my members of this group are participating. So it's yes. be fun. All right. Now let's talk about high point market because I put a post to, you know, who wants to meet me at high point. And it was cool. Lots of people said mm -hmm. they're going to be there. Some people want to do the save the dates. And then I started to get a slew of questions, not even quite on the wall of, of the group, but privately, like it's the first time I'm going to high point and I don't know what to do. So I thought who better to tell them how to navigate high point um, then the IDS who has things going on during high point. So why don't we talk about that? Yes. So they can save the dates. Yeah, absolutely. So, you know, we are headquartered in high point, so we are there all the time. So, you know, for anyone who wants to know anything, you know, feel free to reach out to us. We have a lot of great um, resources for you. Um, we're actually one floor above the high point market authority. Um, so they're even in our building. Um, but we've got a lot of really cool stuff going on this go round. So we're really excited about October. I know it's a, the first time that a lot of people are going to a market um, since COVID. Uh, yeah. So there's a lot of really just good feeling in the air and people are very, very excited. So one of the things that we are doing this year is a member lounge. So it's it's a really great space. We expanded our headquarters to incorporate this. So it's going to be a space that a designer or an industry partner can come and they can relax, get some snacks, charge their phones, um, come and have a meeting with someone else if they would like. We are also doing professional headshots. So, oh my God, so many people need that. Mm -hmm. Yes, okay. and those are going to actually be free for our members this year. There will be a fee for non-members, but um, free for members, which is a huge perk. I mean, everyone needs a headshot. People look at headshots all the time, so they're so important. Right, and especially if you're going up on the IDS list. Yes. As a member, you get to go on the IDS list, which is a residential homeowner-facing site. Mm -hmm. And without a headshot, no one's going to hire you from... Right. You know, you need, you need people want to see who you are. Yes. So professional headshots during market. And also, we know, I know, it's... Personally, when you're running around market all day, sometimes you you lose your hair, your makeup a little bit. So we're going to have a hairstylist there to give you a little touch up. What? Yes. I didn't even know this. This is true surprise, everyone. I did not know this. And I'm excited about this because yes. I'm going to be there also certain days for meet and greets and stuff like that. And mm -hmm. I was hoping I could have time to get my hair touched up. Yes, yeah. you definitely will. So we're super excited about that. Just give you a little bump in your day and help you to look and feel your best. So that's going to be free as well. And a place to sit. Like I, yes. I mean, it's ex the people who have reached out to me. They're like, what do I need to know about high point market? I'm like comfortable shoes and don't overbook yourself. Find mm -hmm. the opportunities to sit and relax in between Yes, because you really do get exhausted walking well, it's like Disney Disneyland for interior designers. Mm -hmm. you know how tired you get at Disneyland? Yes. Right? It's the same, same way. So this is a great place to kind of just recharge, be with like-minded people in a safe space. Um, just a place where you can really kick back and relax and recharge. Okay. So again, this is a, the IDS Lounge to stop in and get a free headshot and your hair and makeup touched up or whatever you're going to have, mm -hmm. that is for IDS members. Yes. Uh, okay. Non-members can participate in the headshots. There will be a fee. Okay. And they can sit in the IDS lounge, even if they're not we an IDS We would love lounge. for people who are not members yet to come by and see us and check us out. And yeah, I, absolutely. Come on in and join us. Good. Good. And good. also, right. one other thing I forgot is for people who have, you know, luggage that they bring, we're going to have a luggage drop that's free for our members. Oh, wow. So okay. we know that, you know, sometimes the lines can get really, you know, long for the ones in the big buildings. So um, we are going to be open and we have a locked safe space for your luggage that you can drop off at the beginning of the day, pick it up at the end. Just another perk for our members. It's huge. It's huge because yeah. I have passed that 
luggage line, it's a horror. It's really yes. bad. Yes. So having these specialty spots just for, you know, for you knowing. And, and where is the lounge going to be? So we are located in the radio building. So it's right in the middle of market. It's on Main Street. Um, so it's in between, if you're familiar with market, it's in between where IHFC and Showplace. So if you're thinking of those two spots and then the suites at Market Square, we're right in between those two. OK, so on the bus route, they'll just be able to say I need to go to the radio building. Yes. OK. Yeah. And then what floor? We are on the eighth floor, top floor. Great okay. views of market. OK. And I know you're doing a couple of events. I don't yes. know if you're finished scheduling them all, but let everyone know besides having a place to go sit and relax, whether you're an IDS member or not, being able to get your hair touched up mm -hmm. and makeup touched up if you're an IDS member, free headshot if you're an IDS member, paid headshot if you're not, and luggage holding, yeah. place to charge their phones, rest their feet. I was mm -hmm. thinking, are you going to have a foot massager there? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> we need a volunteer. <laughs> so. <laughs> it won't be me. Okay, me but you're either. also hosting some events. So yes. where do we go so far? So, of course, we always have to incorporate a way for our members to network and also to learn. So one of the things that we're doing, of course, we had to partner up with, up with Nancy, obviously. <laughs> so we are doing a meet and greet with Nancy on the Monday of market. And I can't remember. What is that date? Oh, oh, we should Monday. know this. We should know. This. I think it's October 18th. Uh, probably I'm going to check right now because I didn't put out a save the date yet. I was waiting another two weeks, but yes, Monday, October 18th. And we're doing it at four. four. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, so save the date great. if you want to meet me in person, cause that's where I'll be on Monday, October 18th at four mm -hmm. o'clock till about what? Five 30, a little cocktail yes. hour meet and greet and. We'll have some cocktails. We'll have some good appetizers. Um, so just a, a great place to end your day. Again, be with some like-minded individuals. I'm sure there will be, you know, some people from your group that will be there, hopefully. Um, some people from IDS as well. So it'll just be a great opportunity to meet some new people, see Nancy. I guess you probably have a lot of people that haven't met you in person. No, it's really funny when people see me walking. I remember the one year I went to High Point, I'm walking down the street. Mm -hmm. And on the other side of the street, I actually recognize somebody from the Interior Design Business Forum group mm -hmm. from their little teeny picture. Oh and they're God. looking at me and I'm looking at them and then I'm wearing my signature blue, which of I'll course. try to do. Yes. Well, because it helps people recognize me. Yeah. And I feel like I should walk around with a uh, a frame like yes see it's yes. me from here up like because uh-huh because I'm really short and people don't realize that you are <laughs> yes I have I'm a witness to that <laughs> I always More but fiery of course and I always try to wear really big heels so I'm taller however at high point market my feet hurt too and sometimes I have to go you know flats as well yeah bring it's a bag funny. with extra shoes yes that's a big tip right there. Bring a bag with yeah. flats or a different pair. Just because, you know, sometimes that pair you're wearing rubs and you need to switch where they're rubbing, right? Yeah. But come yeah. and visit at Monday night at mm -hmm. the IDS lounge in the radio building to meet me. And I know you also have uh, meet me at a cocktail hour. We can mm -hmm. do a book signing as well. I'll have some books there. So if you want one of the books, I'll be there to be able to sign it for you also, which will be fun. And yes. They'll be there to purchase as well, if you want. And what else? What other events? So we're also doing on Saturday, Sunday, and Monday in the afternoons, we are doing one-on-one -on -one mini consultations with business coaches. And I know Nancy is going to participate in that. So, you know, that's a really good time to get some one-on-one -on -one FaceTime with these experts and you know just be able to meet them in person and pick their brains it's individual so you know you're not going to be doing this in a group so you can feel comfortable talking to them and um it's free for members oh Again, my gosh so they're going to get to sit across the table from me and do what 30 minutes 20 30 minutes, minutes 30 yes. minutes okay i'll get to coach them face to face 
free for IDS members. Yes. And, and that's, that's a huge value. value. I was going to say that's a huge value. Yeah. Um, that IDS is providing to get me there. And do you have any other coaches secured yet? Mm -hmm. Desi Creswell will be there. I love and, Desi. And you know, she is, she is so calming <laughs> and she's kind of, I think the expert on, you know, work-life balance, yes. um, just making sure to me, it seems like that you are well-rounded and, um, I think that's really important. She is the epitome of work-life balance. And I love the way she presents. You just, when you're near her, you get calmer. Yeah, I agree. She's just got such a nice demeanor. So for you to learn from her directly on how she has achieved her work-life balance and how have helped a ton of designers achieve that as well, you know, Different coaches have different styles. And I love yes. the fact that IDS is going to have multiple. Anyone else yet secured? And I believe we're going to have Melissa Galt okay. on Monday afternoon. Okay. And she's more of that luxury mm -hmm. focuses on uh, helping you attract luxury market as her primary focus of her business coaching practice. Yes. Um, but very experienced. has been in the industry forever. So Anyone so else? three really great individuals, Saturday, Sunday, Monday afternoon. You will have to sign up for that. And again, it's free for our members. So, you know, we will be in the next probably three or so weeks, we will have the registration links up so that you can plan your schedule, book your headshots. Um, those you'll have to have an appointment for those as well. Um, so we're looking forward to seeing everyone there. Oh my God. It's going to, I'm, I'm actually so excited because it's been so long since I everyone's know. been in person and I know I'll be hanging out in the IDS lounge. Yes. Right? I, was, I don't have to shop people. I just go and socialize and meet people and have fun and do events and speak and coach. Like it's yeah. great for me. Um, and I know I'll be hanging out there. So. Yes, me too. I can't <laughs> wait to see everyone. I'm so excited. <laughs> So excited. All right. Anything else we want to mention today? Hmm. Join IDS always. Join IDS. Yes. We have some really great programming coming up with our virtual chapter. So I know obviously if people are, you know, interacting with you, they are well versed in virtual things. <laughs> so, you know, check out our virtual chapter schedule because we're having meetings twice a month. Um, wow. Really, really great things that you can learn. And of course, those are free for members. So um, really great content. Awesome. All right. Well, listen, I've been IDS for now. I have to start saying 12 years because I believe I have been saying 11 for at least a year. So, yes. Okay. So Time to bump it up. <laughs> okay. 12, 13. I've been a member a long time mm -hmm. and I love this organization. It is friendly. It is warm. It's a positive experience always. And I think mm. that's what I love the most is that always when I'm around people who are in the Interior Design Society, it is a positive, uplifting, supportive community as opposed to who is, you know, doing what to whom and da, da, like where some people have experienced that with their local PTAs or parenting groups mm -hmm. or whatever. This is not like that. From the top down, you and Jason. Thank you from the top down really dictate the the tone of the whole organization mm -hmm. and because you guys are so amazing and all the past presidents have been so amazing yes it really just has carried through it really does oh i'm so glad to hear that and you know it's something that that i think we're kind of known for that family-like feeling you can feel comfortable you're with people that want to share with you um it's a great group and want you to succeed yes Right. So for interior designers to not be part of that feeling of community, it's hard because you work by yourself mm -hmm. and even industry partners, which is how I joined. I was a service as an art consultant that supported interior designers, and it was an amazing experience for me. So if you're an industry partner thinking of joining IDS, do it, do it. Same yes. as the designers. So, all right, we're going to bounce now. Thanks for watching, everyone. If you have not joined the IDS or just want to check out Virtual Swatch as your first toe into the IDS community, mm -hmm. oh, my God, do it. I put a link above, and you won't be disappointed. It's going to be so much fun, and it's a great organization to be part of. So yes. thank you for sponsoring this group. It takes a yes. lot of work. Oh, <laughs> I know. 
I love the group though. It's great. Oh my God. It takes a lot of work to manage this group and you are one of our sponsors. So I appreciate that. And everyone show your appreciation for our sponsors and join Swatched and join IDS. And hopefully I will see everyone in the IDS virtual lounge on October 18th, specifically yes. for me. But mm -hmm. during the entire week, the lounge will be open in the radio building. Yes. Looking forward to seeing you guys there. All right. Bye everyone. Thanks. Bye. Tony. Thanks, Nancy. Okay. Bye.